Okay, in this video I'd like to talk to you about the Pythagorean Theorem. And this is a useful um, formula for figuring out the hypotenuse or the long side of a 90 degree triangle. So we have a lot of a lot of 90 degree triangles when we're building a home. Our roofs, our stairs, and we can even use some of these measurements for squaring buildings. So what we have is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This is one side of the triangle right here. We will use this as our riser. b is going to be the tread and c is going to be the hypotenuse of the angle. Um, so what we got here is we have 7.5 because we have a seven and a half inch rise and then we have a 10 inch tread and to square a number we just multiply it by itself. 10 times 10 equals 100, 7 times 7 equals 49, 12 times 12 equals 144. Now how are we going to get the 7.5, 7 and a half inches which we broke it down to a decimal Okay, we're going to take 7.5 and we're going to multiply it by 7.5 and see what we come up with here. 56 and a quarter or 56.225. I'm going to write that down here. 56.25 so now we have the square of the riser and we have the square of the tread. So we're going to multiply, we're going to add um, number A, 56 and a quarter, and 100 is B. So let's just take and add 100 to this plus 100 equals 156 and a quarter. Now we can write that measure, we can write that number down here. 156.25. And then we need to look for the square root symbol, which is that right there. Hopefully you can see it. Square root symbol kind of looks like this here. If you can see it right there, it's it's right where this arrow is, it's underneath it. Now to get it on this, we're using the construction master, we need to push the conversion. A little conversion thing will pop up and then we're going to push this button. And then we came up with 12 and a half inches. So our, our angle, hold on a second, I only got one hand, the hypotenuse here of this should be about 12 and a half inches, and it is. As we can see right there, hopefully I'm not wiggling this camera too much. And that is the Pythagorean Theorem. You can use it for figuring out rafters. You know, once we have this measurement here, the 12 and a quarter, we can use it for figuring out the length of um, the lumber we need. So let's just say that I have 12 and a quarter and I have a 10 step stairway that I'm going to build. Um, I can multiply 10 which would give me the length here because these numbers aren't going to do me any good for figuring out the lumber lengths. If I multiply 10 times 12.5 that's going to give me a 12 and a half foot board that I'm going to need. So I would just go ahead and get a 14 foot 2 by 12 or 2 by 14 for my stringer. Uh, again, you can use this for your rafters and uh, squaring buildings. So that is the Pythagorean Theorem in a nutshell.